It might have begun as a youth movement, but take a look at this crowd now. There are religious conservatives protesting. Housewives, students, senior citizens, all of them united against a common enemy, Hosni Mubarak. The former fighter pilot who rigged elections to keep a lock hold on power for 30 years. He squandered billions on palaces, a pampered military, and an inner circle of family and cronies, while ignoring the citizens' most basic needs. People, they're so separated and segregated from those who make the decisions that the Egyptian people are strangers in their own country. It's a cruel country for the 16 million people who eke out a life on less than $2 a day. Almost half of Egypt's 80 million people don't even know how to read. And those who do, legions of dynamic young people who worked hard to get an education, find there is nowhere to use it. Many of the street vendors you see in Egypt may have college degrees, but they have no hope of finding a job, no hope of really meeting their ambitions in life. And these are the people who are now taking their grievances out on the streets. To top it all off, the world has seen the brutality of the security forces this week. Well, it's not reserved for demonstrators. Abuse and torture are the Egyptian police's stock in trade. Hosni Mubarak, who is now 82 years old, has clearly been blindsided by this open challenge to his authority. People, I'm here to congratulate them for finally standing up for their rights. Once the people decided enough was enough, it only took them four days to shake a rotten system to the core. It's one thing to shake the system, quite another to dismantle it or reform it. And tonight there's absolutely no plan anywhere that indicates how the government or the army might go forward with that.